All right, we are going to be solving the uh, questions above. The first one says we should prove that the maximum bending moment for cantilever beam with fixed point is negative P L. And the second one is uh, says we should prove that the maximum bending moment for a cantilever with U D L is negative W L squared over two. All right, so we are still uh, under the sectioning method. All right, but the truth is you don't need to section anything in this question. Two step, then you are done. You don't need to waste your time. All right, and this is it. All right, the first one we are going to be starting with the summation of upward force. Force is to be equal to zero, and taking upward force to be positive and downward to be what negative. All right, so if we do that, how many forces are we having? We are having arrow A, and then we are having P. So this is going to be arrow reaction at A minus p will be equals to zero so it means that our reaction at a will be equals to what p so that is the reaction at a all right so the next thing here we are going to take our moment about point what about point a and uh, if we are taking our moment about point a and again uh the moment is going to be maximum at where at point a because if you draw the shear force if this uh, if you sorry, if you draw the bending uh, moment diagram, if you draw how this uh, beam is going to bend, it's going to bend in this manner. All right, so it's going to bend in this manner. So you can see we are going to have our maximum bending at this point A. All right, so if we do that, shows that sum of moment about point A would be equals to zero. All right. So here yeah, we are having a clockwise moment, and uh, here yeah, this downward force is giving us what anti-clockwise. Ah, uh, sorry, this downward moment is also giving us a, a clockwise moment. Sorry, clockwise moment. You can see it. It's coming like this clockwise. So the two moments are same. So the uh, uh, down uh, the sign here is going to be the same. So if we are taking our uh, forces here, our downward force to be negative here shows that this one is going to be negative and this one too is also going to be what negative all right so if we do that we are going to have minus minus m subscript a then minus p will be equals to what zero all right so uh sorry minus uh, if we take our moment about this point i'm going to have p multiplied by l nice nice p l rather equals to zero all right so we are going to have p l and uh, this moment here all right so now uh the question says that we should show that it is equals to what it is equals to minus p l so if we move our m a that this moment about at uh, point a to this other side is going then we are going to have we are going to have m a will be equals to minus p l i hope you understand this so this is how to prove that all right so we are done with this part so let's go for this part so the same thing for us to do this we are going to start with sum of forces upward forces to be equals to sum of vertical forces to be equals to zero upward force positive downward force negative all right so here yeah, we are going to have a reaction at a uh, yeah we are having a uniform distributed load which we are going to convert to a point load and how do we do that it's going to be w multiplied by l so it's going to be minus w l everything will be equals to zero so here it shows that our arrow a will be equals to w a all right so the next thing is to take our moment about point a so we take our moment about point a will be equals to zero so if we do that don't forget, if we convert this uniform, uh, this uniform distributed load to a point load, uh, a, a point load. So we are going to have a downward force here. So which is going to give us the same moment as this moment here. So and uh, we are saying downward force will be what negative. It shows that the moment created this will also be what negative. So this moment and the moment about point A is going to be what negative. So we are going to have minus M A, then minus what? Minus W L. This is the point load. Now, when you convert to a point load, it's going to hurt at what? At the center of the beam. So from the center to this point, it's going to be L over 2. 
from the center to this other point is going to be L over 2. That will be the distance. So uh, the moment there is going to be WL multiplied by what? L over 2. So multiply by L over 2 equals to what? 0. So if you do that, we are going to have minus M subscript A, then minus W L square all over what? All over 2 equals to what? 0. So if we make our M A the subject, we move it to the other side, our M A will be equals to minus W L square all over 2. So this is how to uh, go about the proving. So stay tuned for more questions on this and then we are going to be applying section method for the benefit of our students that are preparing for their upcoming exam. So if today is your first time of coming across our content, do where to click on the subscribe button and do where to click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video like this, you'll be the first to be notified. And uh, don't forget to join our membership group. There you are going to have access to member only video and then you are also going to have access to ask questions, chat with us and ask us questions. Uh, thank you. Stay tuned.